Well, the space object 3i Atlas just whipped past the Sun, and instead of clearing things up, the new images made everything even stranger. Because if this thing really is a comet, then it's the strangest comet ever recorded. And if it's not a comet, then we're watching something completely new invade our solar system. So, should we be worried? This all started back in July 2025. Astronomers using the Atlas Survey Telescope in Chile spotted a faint, super-fast-moving object, something unlike anything they'd seen before. That was our first look at 3i Atlas. And right away, scientists had a lot of questions. Where did it come from? What's it made of? But more importantly, what is this thing? At first glance, it almost looks like a tiny cell, right? Like something you'd see under a microscope, with a bright center like a nucleus, and this fuzzy outer layer. But when we look at it from a different angle, the mystery clears up. That glow is actually a comet tail. It's precisely because it looks like and behaves like a comet that NASA finally confirmed it. Yup, 3i Atlas really is a comet. The big giveaway is that it has an icy nucleus and a coma, which is that glowing cloud of gas and dust surrounding it. But this comet is a very special one, because it didn't come from our own solar system. It came from somewhere else in the Milky Way. And that's ridiculously rare. To give you an idea, we've only ever seen three objects like this, period. The first two interstellar visits were the famous Oumuamua and the comet Borisov. And now, 3i Atlas. Cool! But you might be asking, how do we know it actually came from outside our solar system? You see, normal comets are bound to the Sun. They swing around it in these big, looping orbits. But 3i Atlas isn't doing that. Its crazy speed and path show it's not on a closed orbit around the Sun. And the only logical explanation is that it came from another star system and, you know, just wandered into ours by chance. In other words, this is just a visitor passing through our solar system, and is doing it at a ridiculous speed. When we first spotted it, it was going around 137,000 miles per hour. So this object probably spent millions of years cruising through deep space just to hang around our solar system for a few months. And after this quick visit, it'll vanish into interstellar space and we'll never see it again. Recently, two European Space Agency satellites, along with several NASA spacecraft near Mars, captured new images of 3i Atlas zooming in as it passed the red planet. And one of those images is pretty incredible, showing a cloud of hydrogen atoms around the comet. Scientists were pretty excited about that, as every bit of information we get from this visitor matters. Because the reality is, there are still a lot of unanswered questions about this object, starting with its size. We can't pin it down exactly yet, but NASA says it could be anywhere from about 1,400 feet to around 3.5 miles in diameter. Its exact shape is another mystery because our telescopes can't really get a clear look at it. The nucleus is buried inside this bright coma of gas and dust, and the sunlight reflecting off all that dust basically blinds us. So for now, we're trying to see it through a bright, dusty fog. If you put all the pieces together, its behavior, its chemistry, and the images we've gotten so far, everything points to 3i Atlas being a comet. But even with all that, there are still some pretty controversial ideas floating around about what it might be. Not long after it was discovered, Harvard astrophysicist Avi Loeb said there's maybe a 30-40% to 40 chance this object isn't something naturally formed. That comet kicked off a wave of online buzz, with people jumping to wild possibilities. Like maybe it's some kind of extraterrestrial tech, or worse, a threat to Earth. Ooh. According to this theory, 3i Atlas might be a massive extraterrestrial mothership. Its odd trajectory could mean it's sending out little satellites toward Jupiter to collect intel for some extraterrestrial civilization. So in that version of the story, this isn't just a comet. It's basically advanced space spy tech. But then the obvious question is, 
Why spy on Jupiter, right? I mean, wouldn't Earth be way more interesting to an interstellar civilization? Well, in this theory, Jupiter is the target because it's so much bigger than Earth and the other neighboring planets. The idea that a planet that massive could act kind of as an interstellar beacon, something that stands out from far away. The region near Jupiter is another big reason. It's almost like it's an ideal parking spot, where space technology could basically hang out without using much fuel at all. In other words, if you were going to place advanced satellites somewhere to watch a planet, well, that's prime real estate. Pretty cool, huh? But as fun as that theory is, we gotta come back down to Earth for a second. According to the major space agencies, this thing is a comet, case closed. But that label doesn't make it any less special. 3i Atlas is still a total weirdo in the best way, and it stands out for a bunch of reasons. Let's look at three of the most important ones. First, this object is old, like really old, older than me. <laughs> Scientists think it's been traveling through space for at least 7 billion years. That's so far back in time that it was formed before our Sun and Earth even existed. So yeah, it's probably the most ancient thing we've ever seen in our cosmic neighborhood. Second, it's glow. Comets can sometimes look kind of green, and here's why. When a comet gets closer to the Sun, the ice inside it heats up and starts releasing gas. I know the feeling. <laughs> Some of that gas is made of carbon-based molecules, especially one called diatomic carbon, or C2. When sunlight hits those molecules, they light up, and to us, that glow shows up as green. But with 3i Atlas, that green color is… well, confusing. The data suggests that this comet is actually low on those carbon chain molecules. So the big mystery is, if it doesn't have much C2, how is it glowing green at all? Well, nobody knows. And now, the third thing that makes this comet stand out. It seems to be giving off a metal alloy we've basically never seen in nature. So this comet is releasing a plume that contains nickel that's normal. What's strange is what's missing – iron. In comets, nickel and iron usually show up in pretty similar amounts. Here, we're seeing nickel but no clear sign of iron. And that's almost unheard of. If the data holds up, it points to an alloy called nickel tetracarbonyl, something we've only ever seen before in human-made industrial processes, not out in space. No other known object has shown this kind of signature. Well, now that you're familiar with 3i Atlas, we gotta answer the biggest question of all. Is it a threat to us? Good news! No, the comet isn't dangerous, and it's going to stay really far from Earth. So we can all take a deep breath. <sighs> well, I feel better. Although it's harmless, tracking it has been super valuable for planetary defense. You see, space agencies are always watching asteroids and comets, running the numbers on their orbits, and making sure we'd get a warning if something ever did head our way. But 3i Atlas gave them something new to practice with. This is the first time tracking data from spacecraft orbiting another planet were officially submitted to and accepted by the Minor Planet Center. That's the big global database where asteroid and comet observations get collected and checked, so scientists everywhere can stay on the same page. So, in a way, 3i Atlas was like a rehearsal. Gathering data like this from a totally new setup helps researchers sharpen their methods and improve how we spot future space objects. And that means better detection, faster tracking, and more readiness, just in case the next visitor isn't quite so friendly. Uh-oh. That's it for today. So hey, if you pacified your curiosity, then give the video a like and share it with your friends. Or if you want more, just click on these videos and stay on the bright side.